Hello, hello, everybody out there in the Maestro DMX universe. Today's tutorial is going to talk about how to control fog and haze machines with Maestro DMX. This question has come up a bunch, so we thought we would make a video breaking down how to do this. So if you navigate to the show page, you will see the trigger effect buttons up here. One of these buttons is fog. So there's a few controls here. There's the ability to simply just press the fog button on and off. You can also latch it. So if you press this latch here and hit the fog button, it will stay activated until you press it again in comparison to momentary mode where you have to keep it held down for the fog button to be triggered. If I click here next to the fog button, I can see all of the fog parameters. There are a number of controls here. So as well as fog on off triggered from this button, there is also fog volume and fog speed. I will talk a little bit later on how these controls actually control your fog or hazer machine. You also have some timing control here. So currently it's set to manual. So that just means that fog will trigger when this button is pressed. If you put it on timer mode, then if this button is pressed, it will send the signal to the fog machine to turn on at certain intervals for a certain amount of time or a duration. So the interval is the space in between bursts from your machine in time, all the way from zero seconds to five minutes. And the duration is how long that burst of fog or haze or whatever you want to trigger runs for, again, up to five minutes. So let me explain how these fog controls actually change the channels in your DMX fixtures. So let's have a look at some fog or haze fixtures that exist out there and learn how to map them to the fog control. Okay, so let's pick, for instance, this Hurricane Haze 2D. It's a Chauvet DJ fixture called a Hurricane Haze 2D. If I jump down to the DMX spec here, you'll see that this fixture is a two channel DMX fixture with channel one is the blower speed, channel two is haze volume. The first thing I would do is go to the Maestro DMX fixture profile website, fixtures.maestrodmx.com, and here I will just type in Hurricane Haze 2D, hit search, and it shows up right here. So then you can go ahead and download that fixture profile, and then you can upload it into Maestro DMX to the fixture profile page. To do that, you just go add a profile, and then you'll drag it or search for it on your computer here. I've already installed this profile. So if I search for Hurricane Haze 2D, it comes up. You can see that right away, this fixture is correctly mapped with the correct channel types. So this fixture comes well defined from our fixture database. The first channel is set to fog speed. The second channel is set to fog volume. So what that means is that once I patch this fixture onto the stage, then when I press this fog button, a DMX value will be sent out of those channels that correspond to where these sliders are. So for the fog volume, it's set to 100%. So when I press this button, that channel, the volume channel, will send 255 out to your fixture, and the speed will send 255 out to the fixture. So jumping back here, first channel is speed, second channel is volume. If you wanted to bring the speed down or the volume down of that fixture once it's patched on the stage, let's go back to show, I could simply just turn the speed and volume down here. So that shows one way of getting your haze or fog fixture to function. 
Keep in mind that you can use MIDI control to trigger this button and to also control these parameters in this drop down dialog. That's a convenient way to trigger fog and haze effects without having to use a tablet or a phone or a computer. If you want to learn more about that, have a look at MIDI on our support site and have a look at the MIDI specification. You can, you can also use open sound control to, to control the fog button and the fog parameters. So let's look at another case. Let's look at this one. It's, it's a fog 1550 ft so again if i go and download that from the fixture profile website i can do that and then i can upload it i've already done it so i will just bring it up right here it's a robe fog 1550 and you'll notice that the channel type is set to static value so that means that the database has not correctly labeled the channel type for volume control on this fixture. So it wouldn't actually do anything. If you patched this fixture and hit the fog button, nothing would happen because this is just a static value type set to zero. It will always be zero. So there's a couple ways we can fix this. So let's have a look at the user manual. You'll notice it's a single channel fixture from zero to five, it's set to off from six to 255. There's fog volume control from 5% to 100%. So there's two different ways you could patch this. So there's two different ways you could define this single channel fixture. So if we jump back over here, I could set it to fog on off. And what that's going to do is when I press the fog button, uh, it's going to turn that channel on with a certain on value. If I go edit channel over here, I can set the off and on value. So when the fog button is off, it will set this value here. And when the fog button is on, it will set this value over here. So that's a really simple way to map this fixture to DMX control. However, when you press that button, you'll always be stuck with sort of one output volume on that fixture. Another way to map it would be to set it to fog volume. So if I set it to fog volume, it's similar to the other fixture we talked about. Uh, if I hit save, it's fog volume. So now if I patch that fixture, the fog 1550 to the stage and I hit the fog button, it's going to send out whatever is set here in the fog volume and you can have control over this during your show. So I hope that gives you a decent introduction and in how to set up your fog machine. If for whatever reason you don't see your fog machine in the database up here, it's really easy to build your own fog fixture. So going back to the fixture profile page, let's say if you want to build your own single channel or double channel fog fixture, you're just going to go add profile, create new profile, my random fog fixture. I'll put a unknown manufacturer here and I'll save it. So now it's an empty fixture. I'm going to add a mode of channels. So add mode. Let's just call it a single channel fixture. Call it one mode name one. I save that. So now I just have simply a DMX fixture with one channel and I'll just call this fog volume. And then here I will pick the channel type fog volume. And that's all I have to do. And then on my stage, I just patch this fixture to whichever fixture group. And when I press this button or latch this button, however you want to do it, then this fog volume will be sent out to that channel on that fixture, turning that fog or haze machine on. Keep in mind, um, for the fog to work, your show or live control has to be running. If I hit stop here, and Maestro, then Maestro stops sending any DMX data out to your stage, and this fog button uh, or blinder button or blackout 
won't do anything. So keep in mind, you need to be playing either live control or show for the fog to be working. So this concludes how to set up fog or haze machines or any sort of effect machine where you want it to turn on and off and you want to be able to send a couple parameters to it. If you have any questions, always please reach out. We have our Facebook users group, Maestro DMX users helping users. We also have a Discord. We also have our office hours where you can talk one-on-one -on -one with one of our support staff, or you can just reach out to support through the site. Okay, thanks. Take care.